All right, guys, so welcome to my full day of eating video. Uh, this video is gonna show you what I eat on a typical day uh, losing weight. So my calorie goal is actually 2,000 calories for the day. Um, I'll normally start with two cups of coffee or so, uh, maybe just put a little bit of milk in, in black coffee. Uh, but then I'll move on to this, what you see right here. This is a low calorie snow cone. Uh, I have a video on how exactly to put this together on my channel, so just check that out. But all it really is is some ice and some low calorie or zero calorie sweetener uh, put in a blender and blend it up. So I'll ch use this to try to uh, fight off my hunger for a little bit until I have my first meal of the day. All right guys, so for my first real calorie meal, I'm having my kale and strawberry smoothie. I've showed you guys this before, uh, but it's really easy to make. I put in three stalks of, uh, of kale. I put in half a pound, this, this bag's a pound, so I put a half a bag of this frozen strawberries from uh, Walmart, and then I put a scoop and a half of this protein, and then finally I put in about 10, it looks a little bit more right now because it's sunk in, but uh, about 10 ounces of hot water. Um, again, the reason why it's hot is because the strawberries are frozen, it just helps it mix a little bit better. Um, and the real purpose of this meal is uh, really to add volume and not a whole lot of calories. So it actually basically fights off my real hunger for a little bit longer um, because this doesn't really have too many calories in it and it'll fill up the entire pitcher um, once it's blended because it'll pull in a whole lot of air, as you'll see. So, put it in, give it a while to uh, definitely crush up all those strawberries. see it pretty much filled it up I actually probably add a little bit more water because I'm I have a feeling it's gonna be a little too thick and actually hard to pour and then drink but uh, we'll see how it goes but again the real purpose of this is to get a whole lot of volume and not a lot of calories and that's what a lot of my meals for today will be like uh, because once I start eating I my hunger just doesn't go away really until um, until I go to bed so I try to eat foods that really just bring a whole lot of volume and whole, not a whole lot of calories. Um, if you have that same issue, then this is great for you. Uh, this also gets me a lot of uh, micronutrients in. I got that kale and the strawberries, so it's really great, guys. Try it out. All right, so it's been about two hours since I had that kale smoothie, uh, ready to eat again. What I'll do now for the second meal is basically make it giant soup. Now what I'll do is I'll, I'll put in the shirataki noodles. Uh, they're, they're made from yams and they come in this little fluid uh, water filled sack. Uh, the key with these is to make sure you rinse them and uh, more than once, so at least a couple times because they do have a earthy type smell like, like dirt um, when you first open it up. But once you rinse them a few times and you put them in the soup, you won't notice that at all. They'll taste like normal noodles, um, ramen, anything like that. And the soup I'm putting in is light progresso roast, uh, beef pot roast. And the reason why I'm using this particular one is because it has low calories. Again, this entire can has only 160 calories. So together, these make a, quite a big meal and almost no calories. I mean, the shirataki noodles actually only have 30 calories in this entire uh, package it's eight ounces drained some shirataki noodles you can find actually have zero calories so those are great too if I just happen to be feeling particularly hungry uh, on this day I might even add some celery or some broccoli and I'll cut that up put it in the soup before I heat it up that way it's, it gets a little softer um, from being heated and I won't even count those calories towards my daily calorie goal or anything like that um, they're just so small and negligible, basically. They've got extra, you, you're adding extra fiber, so you really don't even have to count it. 
Um, but that's my second meal. I'll put it together and I'll show you guys uh, just how big that meal is and uh, then I'll show you the next meal. All right guys, so here is the soup. Final product, as you can see, is pretty good size. Um, and this entire thing only has about 200 calories in it. Um, actually just under, I think it's like 190. Uh, but didn't add any extra vegetables today, but as you can imagine, if I added uh, some more, then it would be even larger in volume. Um, but this is just another great tool that I use for uh, not having to be hungry while I'm losing weight. So that for me is a big deal. Um, I hate having the hunger feeling or I hate being hungry when I'm losing weight. So I try to make all my meals uh, as filling as possible. And that really just makes it a whole lot more enjoyable when I'm trying to lean down, lose fat, and not have to be starving doing that. So uh, definitely try this out and I will show you the next meal. All right, so what I got for my next meal is 10 ounces of ground pork. Now, I'll sometimes use ground beef, uh, not you know big difference there. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll heat it up and then I will add on some Frank's Red Hot or even some Dij Dijon mustard right there. Um, another one I love to put on uh, ground meat is uh, Sriracha mustard. It just happened to be out of that. Um, finished it up last night. So uh, that's also a great way to add some flavor to this. Might even add some spices. Um, it really just depends on how I feel, but this is a great way to get in a lot of protein, hardly any fat, and really no carbs. So uh, definitely great way to, again, just eat a lot of food and not have to put in a ton of calories. All right, so starting to get a little hungry again. So what I have here is nine ounces of baby carrots, um, only like 90 calories or something within this whole container. I mean, it's not a ton of food, but uh, for the calories, it's pretty great. Now I might add, uh, put that in some fat-free ranch or uh, believe it or not, that sriracha mustard is also fantastic with these carrots. So uh, just another good bit of food. I mean, nine ounces is, is over half a pound. So um, for the 90 calories, that's also a great option. Believe it or not, I'm starting to get hungry again. Um, I honestly, I think I could probably be a competitive eater if I really train to. Just my hunger, once I start eating, just doesn't seem to stop. So, But what I got here is some uh, Walmart brand fat-free pretzels. I uh, love pretzels uh, because they are generally low in fat. These actually have zero grams of fat. So this is actually four servings right here and uh, just a quite a bit of volume again and again that is my key uh, to getting through a diet and not having to uh, be hungry or just absolutely hate it so here is another treat that I or another snack I will eat uh, on a fairly da daily basis all right guys so as a final treat before my last meal, I will eat two or three of these Oreos just to get a little bit extra uh, carbs and fat in. Uh, these are the reduced fat. I also have uh, other the other uh, flavors as well. It doesn't have to necessarily be reduced fat. Obviously, you'll get to eat more of these per uh, per calorie if they are lower in in fat, but uh, doesn't really make a huge difference. But the key is obviously only eating two or three, not uh, 10 or the whole box at once, right guys? So, but it is a way for me to get a treat in, um, I guess kind of junk food wise during the day on a, on a daily basis as well. All right guys, so for my final meal of the day, and this is the one I actually look forward to every day because it's just like, a giant dessert it's it it just delicious and you get to eat so much of it that you're not uh, craving more you're not you know uh, you're not sad that it's over because it honestly even a hard it's actually a challenge just to finish it so it's fantastic definitely recommend this one but what it is is I put about 460 grams of blueberries 
in an entire container of Carbmaster yogurt. This is from uh, Kroger. And as you'll see, it's just absolutely massive. And there's just something about putting fruit in inside this that really just makes this actually, even though it does taste sweet on its own, um, just makes it even sweeter. The the natural sugars in the, in the fruit just really bring out more of the taste and it's just absolutely delicious. I definitely recommend it. Um, the yogurt is very tasty by itself, but it, it it's almost night and day difference that you can uh, really just, it just makes it so much better. So I definitely recommend uh, putting in fruit. You can also put in granola and stuff like that, but there's something about the fruit and the sugar that's in the fruit that just makes it really enhances the flavor of the yogurt. So definitely try this out. So those are the two containers, blueberries, and I'll just rinse these off. All right, so here is the final product. Then what I'll do is just mix it up, obviously. And I mean, it's just so much food. Like I said, it is absolute fantastic. It is delicious treat. Um, it honestly feels like I'm cheating on my diet just because it's it just tastes amazing. So I'll mix that up and I will attempt to finish that. Sometimes uh, I just start eating it too late in the day and I have to actually finish it uh, the next day. Not a big deal. Uh, definitely saves overnight. Um, but you know, if I, if I can, I try to finish it in one sitting. Um, whether that take you know be an hour to do, but uh, but it's just absolutely delicious. That I really just don't want to stop eating it. And there you have it, guys. That is my full day of eating. Uh, that is two thousand calories that I've consumed through the, throughout this video. And it, that's my calorie goal to lose weight. So yours might not be quite as high, it might be higher. It really just depends on where you are uh, currently. But again, this the whole point behind this video is to show you that it does not have to be hard to lose weight. You don't have to be hungry and you can feel satiated with the foods that you eat. And uh, it really just does not have to be a pain to get lean. All right, guys. So there you have it. That is a full day of eating for me. That is 2000 calories. Um, that is my current calorie goal to lose weight. Again, that's not going to be the same for you. So definitely don't follow that exactly. If you do want to be put on a program plan, uh, both through fitness and nutrition, definitely hit me up. Um, I can set you up with one of my programs and we get you on track to hitting your goals. So if you want to get lean, get some abs going, maybe get ready for the summer, um, definitely hit me up and we will work towards that goal. So it does take me some time to put these videos together, guys. So if you did learn something, you do uh, appreciate this video, definitely share it, comment, subscribe, um, and, and just put out the word, guys. So if you And if you know somebody that might be interested in getting a plan, being put on a program, definitely let them know about me, have them hit me up, and uh, that way I can really work with them and put them on track for their, their individual goals. So every plan I have is customized for that person. Um, it's definitely not cookie cutter, and it is uh, basically set to put you on track for success. My clients have a higher level of success than a lot of the other programs that are out there. And it's because of the customization that I put. I track through, I help you track throughout the program. Um, definitely have you hit your goals and uh, keep you accountable. So that way you do uh, make it through the program and you end up uh, with a lot of knowledge and are able to actually continue on without my assistance so my real end goal is for you to be able to continue after my program without my help so 
Um, definitely hit me up if you're interested and I will see you guys next time.